container charter rates are exploding. What will happen to the market, with long-term contracts of 10 times higher charter rates? Hello, it's Eno. I would like to broadcast Eno Sands Logistics Radio today. Today's theme is about increase in container charter rates. Since Corona disaster, we have reported many times, on the rising cost of ocean freight. We have been telling that this was due to the increase, in freight rates by the shipping companies, but in fact, there is also an increase in container shipping rates in the background. The current container charter rates are increasing as follows. Current charter rates is 98,000 US dollars per day. Before Corona charter rate is 10,000 US dollars per day. In addition, container ship size is 4,400 TE. The price has been gradually increasing since last summer, and now it has jumped to about 10 times the price. In explaining the charter rates for container ships, let me first explain the difference between a ship owner and an operator. In the shipping market, shipping companies such as one in Maersk do not own all ships. Of course, shipping companies own their vessels, but they also rent vessels from other ship owners and operate them. Therefore, shipping companies are sometimes referred to as operators. For example, it became a hot topic when Evergreen ship ran aground in the Suez Canal, in April this year. The owner of the ship was Shoei Kisen of Japan, so it was Shoei Kisen, not Evergreen, that was negotiating with the Suez Canal Authority for compensation. Before Corona disaster, the term of charter was one year at most. Nowadays, however, it is reported that from four to five year contracts are the norm, and it is difficult to renew short-term contracts of one year. Ship owners are negotiating for longer contracts at higher charter rates. Although the shipping market is expected to remain high from now until 2022, shipping companies, operators, want to avoid, to have to pay high charter rates to ship owners, even if the shipping market declines after 2023. However, if negotiations with ship owners do not go well, shipping companies may not be able to lease ships from them, which could limit the supply of services. As a ship owner, the investment in a ship is very large, ranging from several 10 million to 180 million US dollars per ship. In spite of the investment, if the market conditions are low, the ship owner may not be able to fully recover the investment and may suffer a huge loss. In this sense, it is natural for ship owners to want to sign long-term contracts with high charter rates. The market price depends on the balance between supply and demand. Currently, supply is not keeping up with demand, and ocean freight rates are at an all-time high. However, as Corona and North American Christmas sales settle down, and demand declines, prices will also settle down. It would be a good idea to keep an eye on charter rates in the future shipping market.